What is up you guys, back at you with another video, and I know, I know, you guys are saying, where have you been Anton all this time? Well, I've been back in the lab, don't worry, I've been working away, making some progress on the Ironman since today. I'm gonna be showing you guys that progress, and while showing you guys, I'm gonna talk about in detail what it took to get here. So, let's first off, get in the darn thing, right? Suit up. <laughs> Come on, let's go to you. That's right guys, it's fully wearable. Hopefully you can hear me under all of this mess of plastic. Now, uh, what it took to get here. Um, let's start with the legs. As you can kind of see in the frames, um, yeah, I can fully walk around in this. There is some mobility, I can kind of bend my legs. Um, there's definitely some clanging and scratching that you can hear, um, but for the most part, it's not terrible. It was a lot worse before, and thankfully, I don't have terribly too much armor pinching. Now, the first issue that I had was scaling, and a lot of you guys also that are trying to complete this project will have issues scaling. The way I went about it is printed 100% and I started trimming stuff. And so I started trimming around the thighs. Um, I did about an inch increments. If done so far two inches, I am 5'8 on a good day. This is scaled for a six foot model person. It doesn't look awful where I cut it off. Um, it does give me the increased mobility that I was looking for, but the legs aren't fully bendable like I want them to be. I mean, I can lift my legs a little bit. I can kind of shake them around, but I'm not really able to sit down or walk upstairs. Uh, I definitely want to eventually be able to get the mobility to where I can sit down or walk up the stairs. Um, but this is, this is pro promising progress. I'm really happy with where I got the results. And as you can see, I still haven't fixed the shoulders. I need to get on that. I'm just being procrastinating and lazy. Now, the other part was the, not the thighs themselves, but the calves. For some reason, the files, which are used from DO3D, if you wanna use these files yourself, link is down in the description, I have a discount code, it helps me out a little bit, it helps you out, you get some uh, percentage off. But uh, they're, they're formatted where there's a whole bunch of space on the side of the thighs, and it makes no sense why it drags on the ground, so I cut those off. I mean, the feet are just obnoxiously giant on this. They're like clown feet. Um, I did start, as you can see, everything is chrome painted completely you know, all around the back and everything. The seams are much better. I did work on the seams a lot. So that was a lot of wood fill, bondo, sanding, um, as well as, you know, just the harness itself and that system. Um, I had to do some heat gun warping to get the abs really sucked around me. They're still not perfect. There's a lot of spacing. I could push this in actually. It's sticking away from the Velcro. There we go, much better. So it's, it's getting closer. Um, it seems like every time I think it's going to be done completely, it's just incremental progress. But hey, I mean, it's freaking Iron Man. It's pretty cool, right? Um, so we've done all of that. Uh, it, the, man, the cod piece was tricky. Um, but what I did is I actually used some uh, stretchable straps between them so that it can adjust to me. The problem is on the side profile, I mean, they stretch a decent amount, but I am comfortable in them, surprisingly. So um, it's kind of, you know, hit or miss. It depends what you want to get and what you'll lose. Do you want comfort? Okay, well then you'll get more seam lines and such. Um, I also added felt tape uh, for some of the parts, not all of them. So it sounds less like Plastic Man, some bang around, okay, the shoulders do. Um, but it was a lot louder before, trust me. It really sounded like someone was just dumping their trash can or something every time I took a step. Uh, I, I love the progress, I'm really happy. Um, I do need to do, obviously, electronics, but this suit is, you know, it's proof of concept, that, to say the least. You can walk around in it, it's basically there. Um, I'm probably going to start doing some more paint jobs, some testings, and work on the helmet. Speaking of which, why don't I put on the helmet and show you guys the full suit all together? I am Iron Man. <laughs> so, you know, this is the suit all together. There, there's a lot more work to do, but 
To get a CGI thing in real life, I'm very happy with the results. I think they look pretty cool. I hope you guys think they're pretty cool as well. And hey, go check out my other videos for sure if you want to look at some tutorials and see how I got here. Let me get out of this helmet before I keep talking because you probably can't hear half of what I'm saying here. So overall, that's basically the progress. I've had, you know, side plates and all of that. It took a lot to get to it to this point. So what's next on the agenda? Basically, I need to get this thing a lot more mobile and a lot more quiet and a lot better scenes. Just basically minor improvements here and there before this thing feels like a functional costume. It seems like a costume that you can look at and see, but other than being a statue, it doesn't seem very functional to me at this point. So to get there, we're definitely gonna have to add a lot of Velcro. Um, definitely gonna have to trim some parts some more. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to add some platings underneath and such. Um, maybe do a little creative stuff on the harnessing. Obviously fix the shoulders, but they're not too awful as long as you're not, you know, raising your hands like you don't care <laughs> all the time. Um, the legs, it, they're still too long for me. Um, you guys can't see it in this shot, but I'm not able to bend them as much. So I'm gonna have to creatively trim those so they still look good, but I'm still able to bend and actually move around them and go up and down stairs. Cause that's really important, especially um, to conventions when you go there, you know, if you got stairs and you can't do that, well, um, that's not good. That's really, really not good. Uh, so I'm gonna be working on that. On the side, I will actually start working on the paints. I expect some of it to start scuffing and scratching, but I think I've got the good uh, two paints that will work together really well. Um, I figured out the, the three colors, basically, you know, the standard reds, uh, blacks, and golds. Obviously, since I painted this all in chrome and it looked like MK2 or something like that. Um, I know it reacts pretty well with this paint. Um, it's a little tricky. So it's gonna look pretty cool. Um, then we're gonna, while I'm doing that, you know, start some tweaks and all that. And then the electronics as well. Um, I do have a second helmet I'm functionally working on. Um, it is motorized. I just need to get the wires long enough so I can, you know, actually wear it in the suit and control it. Um, so I'm gonna start working on electronics alongside with the paints and trimmings. I basically kind of want this to look like a statue really good and then start doing little upgrades is how I'm gonna approach this project from now on. Um, and definitely the lights in the arc reactor and obviously the pulse reactors is kind of one of my priorities with the electronics um, and, and motorizing of the helmet so I can comfortably wear it the whole time, open and close the faceplate, no problem. Because the other one, um, it's very, very difficult to open and close when you're in the suit. There you have it, guys. There's your Iron Man update. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think he is good in the suit? What's bad? Um, you know, comments and criticisms, I'll take them all. And hey, while you're here, go check out my other videos. I got a whole bunch of cool content, not just Iron Man stuff. I do 3D printing, tutorials. I do just other kind of projects, creations. Go check them out. And hey, if you like this video, enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up down below, hit the sub button. It only takes two seconds of your time. You won't regret it. Great content, I promise you. And I'll see you guys in the next video.